<laughs> oh wow look at that magnificent ugly creature do a movement for you do a movement <laughs> well that's quite a movement that is absolutely crazy so he lives in tank number six yeah there's tank number seven up there which at the moment just has snails and stuff in it. Snowy. But this little dude, have we named him? No. Okay, what's his professional name? It's a wart skin <laughs> angler. It's mimicking a sponge. If you look closely at him, he's got all little holes on him. Looks, makes it look like a sponge. Look at those eyeballs! <laughs> One, it's beautiful, isn't it? But ugly as well. Yeah. And he breathes. He got like little um, holes under his armpits, and she lets out the um. So let's see if he eats. Shall we? So he's an ambush. So what does he eat? Right, okay. Ambush, that means... He's an ambush them. predator. So on the top of his head, I think he's got, I'm not sure what it's called, Elysium or something like that. It's like a little bar which comes down, his angler, and he'll wiggle it. Yeah. See it? On top? Yeah, the video's more shaky because I have to hold right. the camera. So what I'll do is... Rather than put me on the edge. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I'll go up here and I'll feed now you can get these onto frozen, like frozen land fish and things. But yeah, so that's a prawn, of, uh, prawn of it. Oh, in the corner. That's what we've been catching down Port Cole. See him coming over? He's eating that food I just put in now. Yeah. Which is really high quality. Yeah. The food's for you. Come on in. Does he smell very good or not? What I want to do is I want to feed him So it's like a cricket, if you've got chameleons and things, what you do is you gut load. They are quite, they're quite nutritious. It's obviously salt water. It's when you start feeding them ghost shrimp, they're like, there's not a lot of... Uh... Will you get them another film? No, no, not a lot of nutrition. I got him, I got him. Yeah, so you, hopefully you should come back with it. But I mean, that's powder went in everywhere, so he's not on. It's an essential blood disease. Yeah, so he's, he's definitely eating little bits where he is now, he's eating them. Coming to the main bits now. Yeah. Yeah. Got them all, I mean, so he's now been binging himself on. He's binging himself on reef paste from D and D.
I, I don't like this side of things, but I have come to terms with the fact that it is natural. Mm. That's what this fish has been used to. That's what it is, isn't That's it? That's what it is, yeah. 100% designed for. I mean, catching prey. Like that gobi we caught the other day, people go down the beach and catch them and use them as a live prey, which is, you know, I don't think it's good. So um, we'll get back to that now, let him there for five, ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Let him munch. Okay. You got the the prawn. You got him now, have you? Yeah. I'm gonna pop him in. I'm gonna do that by hand. Yeah. Just drop him in. Shall I go to slow mo now? No, let's put him in first. Now you watch the angler fish put his little thing out. Ready? Fast, isn't it? Yeah, like nothing ever happened. So, when will we need to feed him again now then? Um, well, that's a big enough shrimp in it. I would say, we'll be in now Thursday, Saturday, I'm feeding. A couple of times a week, three or four. All depends on the size of the prey. Yeah. So and that's a nice size prawn there that's just been gut fed, haven't it? Gut loaded like. Yeah. So he's gonna have some of that, that nice um, reef paste in there as well. Nutrients like. And the good view of all this little what did you call them? Warts. Warts. On his face, is he gonna smile for us? He's got feet underneath. <laughs> yeah. 